video. As you can tell by the title, it is a Radon haul. You guys love them. I love buying it. So that's why we're here today. I do have a lot of Easter stuff. I do have a couple of Valentine's Day things. And I think I have just one St. Patrick that's like non-Radon. So if you were interested in seeing what I got recently, then just go ahead and keep on watching. So I'm going to start off with the non-Radon items. But it is going to be items that I'm going to be pairing with my Radon displays for the holidays. So the first thing that I will show you is this little guy. I've been looking for something online and there just wasn't anything that I really wanted to get. And I saw this little leprechaun dome at TJ Maxx and he was only $7.99 and I thought it was such a good deal. He looks so cute. The only thing that I wish I could change about him is I wish he had like an orange beard. I think that would literally just top it off. But I did need a St. Patrick's gnome to go with my little tear tray that I'm going to be doing and I really didn't want to spend like a ton of money on gnomes. Usually I don't have a problem but with it, with my St. Patrick's Day um, collection being so small I didn't want to like splurge on a gnome this, for this um, holiday. So I was happy to have found this. I actually got him as I was checking out while buying like a pair of shoes. So he was like in like the the aisle that you walk down, like the checkout aisle. So I was happy that I bought that pair of shoes, first of all. And second of all, finding this little guy on my way cashing out. And then the next items that I did pick up to go with my Easter display, I'm sure plenty of you guys have seen these, but they are the little bunnies. There's a small one, which was $7.99, a medium size, which is $9.99. There was a fat chubby little guy. I think he was probably like $14.99, but he just looked awkward to me. But I figured that these two would kind of be cute to display with all of my Ray Dunn. I feel like Ray Dunn kind of, you know, t like took the idea of the little bunny heads because a lot of people replace these with the tops of the canisters. And I feel like that's what Ray Dunn did this year. But I still wanted these even just for just like a, a filler piece. I feel like I'm not everything to be Ray Dunn. And I was happy to have found these. I'm so glad that I was able to because I know last year they were such a hot commodity. Like everybody wanted them and nobody could find them. But like this year, I, I've been seeing them everywhere. So I'm happy to have gotten some. So I'm actually going to show you something that I had last week. And I filmed a little bit of it, and for some reason my camera stopped working, and I'd forgotten to refilm that part showing this item. So I've had these just kind of sitting up here so I can share them with you. So I'm going to sh share this with you. And it is the Easter egg, the little dimply Easter egg that says Happy Easter. This thing is adorable, guys. I love how dimply it is. However, I feel like this is the item that should not be dimply. I've never seen an egg that's dimply, so I really feel like... This out of all pieces should be smooth, but I don't know. I think it's adorable. It's actually really cute, so I got this. All right, guys, so the next item that I got is oats. This is the only basic that I have in this little haul. Um, initially, I did not want to get, like, any of the new, like, basics, like oats, granola, nuts, but I just realized that I did want to start organizing my pantry, and I want to try using as much bread down as I can because, you know, I'm obsessed. So I picked up oats. Thankfully, I went in to a Marshalls one night, and I was like, hey, there it is. You're here, so I'm going to get you. So I did decide to get this, and, yeah, I plan on putting this in my pantry to help organize that little hot mess that we got going on in there. All right, the next item that I'm going to share with you is this little So Sweet canister. It's just kind of like the seller, but not really. Um, but yeah, I did. I was able to order this from tjmax.com. Um, this is, guys, as, if you watched my last raid on haul, you would know that I'm obsessed with this waterline. So I'm so excited that I got this. I do have to say that TJ has gotten really, really better about their packaging. So I actually didn't run into any issues with this. So I was so happy. And I love this thing. I think it's so adorable. Okay, the next Valentine's, and I believe it's the last Valentine's item that I have, is the Made with Love canister. Um, at first, I really didn't like this. Well, I can't say I didn't like it. It just wasn't like a huge priority for me to get, but because there's, there's been so many of them throughout the city, I decided to get one. I actually posted on my Instagram story. If you're not following me on Instagram, go follow me. But actually, I thought this would be super, super adorable. And I'm not saying this. I'm not. I am not. Okay? This would be such a cute, like, pregnancy announcement piece. I think this is so freaking adorable. That's not the reason why I got it. I, like, 
when I was thinking about it, I was like, okay, yeah, like this is adorable. Actually, I kind of want the canister and it could be repurposed for that reason. So I actually really, really like this. It's so cute. It's like the size of cookies and I also feel like this is just a canister, even though it's Valentine's, I feel like this can be put out all year round because if you're a baker, I'm not a baker, but if you're a baker, I feel like this is just like a common baker phrase. So I just think this is this could be like an everyday piece and I just think it's adorable. All right, let's get into mugs. I have one mug that is not holiday. It's just like a everyday one. And it's also one that I had last week, but apparently I didn't want to film it last week. I was a mess last week. But it is the Cup of Happy Mug with the orange interior. I think this is adorable. Uh, I'm really starting to like all the phrases that she's coming out with, which is a bit of a problem because my covers are basically full. I need to figure out a storage, a storage solution because it's turning into a mess. But yes, I think this is adorable. I think I actually, I, I just hold a cup of sunshine, but I just like the cup of whatever. I think this is so cute. A cup of happy. I love it. I think this is adorable, and I don't know about you, but sometimes coffee like really makes me happy, so I love this mug. I guess we'll start with this. So the rest of this is all Easter, which I thought I had a lot of Easter from last year, but apparently I was wrong. Or, no, she came out with a lot of stuff this year, which, I mean, she can slow her roll a little bit, that's all I gotta say, but yeah. The first thing that I got was these Easter eggs. They say Chick, Chirp, Hop, and Bunny. The bunny one doesn't really make sense to me, but I don't know. I wanted to get it anyways. You guys, these things are freaking huge. I did not expect these eggs to be as big as they are. They're literally like the size of my palm. They're huge. But I did want to use them for my um, display. I want to put a couple in my Easter baskets that I hauled in my last um, Raydon haul. So I did want to get these just for that reason. I think, I think ideally they're cute. Oh, they're just a little big. I did not expect them to be this big, but uh, I do think they're cute, and I do think that you can display them in a really cute way in your radon displays. The next thing I want to show you is I got a couple of hand towels last night, and I I didn't think I was going to be one to collect hand towels, but apparently here I am. But I got. The Happy Easter with the gray buffalo check at the bottom. I think this is adorable. They do have Happy Spring as well, but I figured Easter would be really good to go with the pink hippity hop. And if you can't tell, I've been obsessed with pink lately. And this bunny on here is absolutely darling. I think it's so cute. So I figured I'd just pair these together in my kitchen and I think they would really complement one another so I did decide to get both of these okay we're gonna go with some mugs because I got a couple of mugs not too many I have three and the first one is peep peep with the um the this, this is not yellow this is pink <laughs> I'm struggling over here guys it's pink interior I have peep peep with the blue from last year but of course it's not the same and I have problems so I have to have all of them it's like Pokemon I gotta collect them all so I got Peep peep with the pink interior. Apparently, I got peep peep yellow, like just a solid yellow. Apparently, I needed this, but I don't know. I said last week that I didn't think I was gonna get any like colored mugs, and here I am. I got a, I got another yellowed mug. Or did I haul this? You guys, I think I'm losing my mind. I feel like I've hauled this. I don't know. Either way, I got a yellow peep peep mug, and this mug I had last week. I initially hauled it. Had camera issues, forgot to haul it again, and it is the cute chick mug. I got this. I ideally would like the hot chick pink mug, but I already have the white hot chick mug from last year, so I don't need that one. But you know, if I had the opportunity to get it, I would. I just said I gotta collect them all. Yes, this pink is adorable. I got this one as well. Okay, and the next thing I'm gonna share with you are candles. I'm so excited about these candles, guys. The first one that I got, I, by the way, I got them all. I got the green Happy Easter. Oh my gosh. I'm a sucker for these. If you hear my dog squeaking her toy, I apologize, but she's living her best life. So I love the scent of the Easter candles. I think they're so good. They smell, they just smell like gardens and they smell so good. This one is Gardenia Bloom. This is very similar to the... I want to say the white love candle from last year. Oh my gosh, gardenia. I love it so much. It smells so good. And then I got the big happy Easter. This is in pink peony. Again, smells 
fantastic such a pretty color I got happy spring because apparently I can't just live off of happy Easter and apparently I need two of them this one is happy Easter this is also in pink peony and then the next one is the yellow peep peep this is a lemon meringue not too sure about that I don't smell a lot of lemon but it smells good I do like this and I just I'm a sucker for these pastels guys I love it I cannot get enough and the one that I am so excited for is Bunny Kisses, this blue, you guys. Oh, I'm obsessed with the blue. I think it's just so pretty. This one isn't Marshmallow Berry. It smells pretty good. Um, This reminds me of like Polly Pockets or something from when I was like 10. Oh, like one of those 90s um toys. That's what this smells like, but I love this. It's so cute. I just need to find the Bunny Kisses mug, and I think I will be happy with everything. <laughs> Before I get into canisters, actually I have one more mug, but I'll show that after this because I've already picked this up and this is heavy. I got the bowl set, the Crack Me Up, hop to it, and beat it mugs, or bug set. It's the bowl set. At first I wasn't going to get this, but I fell in love with the pastels and I love it. I already have an Easter bowl set from last year, but I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Again, I'm obsessed with the pastels. I decided to change my mind and I found this and I was like, I gotta get it. All right, one last thing before we get into canisters. If you can't hear it rattling around, this is what it is. And it is the Bunny Love mug. It's a really light pink with a little bunny topper. I did order this from Mercari. They I spent way too much. Yeah, way too much on this from what I understand. Yes, I freaking love this so much. I love it so much, it's so freaking cute. Um. Again, we have a lot of bunny heads this year, guys, but I'm here for it. It's so adorable, and I'm so happy that the prices aren't too bad on Mercari, but I still overpaid. I, I will admit that. But it does wobble around, so if you do get this, be careful. You cannot hold this with one hand. I do not recommend it. <laughs> All right, now again, into canisters. I have three to show you. First one I'm going to show you, I'm... It's, like, probably the least exciting out of them. I don't know. I still love it. It is the Baby Jelly Beans. I love it so much. I do have the big jelly beans from last year, but because I found this, I'm going to try and sell that just because <sighs> the big jelly beans is freaking huge, guys. And this, I love the baby canisters. They're so cute. Um, so excited that I found these. I actually didn't notice it at first. <laughs> I saw like the yellow PP mug and I was like, oh my gosh. And then I found this and I was like, how did I miss that? There was a guy literally like following me behind me and he didn't even see these. So so happy that I found this. I'm so happy. I remember last year it was like crazy to find these. These were like a hot commodity as well. And now they're swarming with them. I think they came out with small jelly beans too. Not needed, but these are adorable. So I'm going to go with my second to last bunny canister. I got this from tjmax.com. This is the honey bunny. This is the large, the large guy. So it's basically the large canister with this huge freaking head on on top of it but I didn't get I wasn't able to get a honey bunny last year and the fact that I was able to get one this year even if it's the large I'm fine with it because these little bunny heads are adorable guys all right and the last and final canister that I have to share with you I did order from Mercari but you know what guys I feel like this one out of anything is probably one of the hard to find items and it is so precious Again, it's something I could, I can honestly change out the top because I do have the bunny head for it and it is the Sweetheart Canister. I absolutely love this. I, I needed this. I say Kuuipo a lot. It means my sweetheart in Hawaiian and I just thought that this was something that I needed in my collection. I didn't really care how much I spent on it. Um, I didn't spend too much on it to be 100% honest, but I love this. I'm so happy to have gotten it. Even if I did have to pay over retail, I think it was definitely worth it. I love this little guy. All right, guys, that is everything I have to share with you. It was quite a bit, just like last week. I don't feel like my next haul will be as big, but we'll see. I don't know. It changes every day. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Oh, 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 oh,